So if you guys remember, we were talking about Doctor Who and how the viewership is absolutely terrible for the latest season of the show. There is no denying that this show is pulling abysmal ratings, the likes of which Doctor Who hasn't seen ever. Now we have an example of what happens when it's time to stop the activism, stop the woke nonsense, sit down, shut up, and talk business. We have an article here from That Park Place with a headline that reads, Doctor Who showrunner admits that the ratings for the show are trash and hints that it could possibly be scrapped. It, it doesn't even feel particularly queer to me. It just feels natural. This is the world and it's 2024 and we're all embracing of this. Again, ladies and gentlemen, you can push all the gay nonsense you want. You could push all the leftist activism you possibly want. But when it comes time to money, when it comes time to ratings, when it comes time to sit down and talk business, you better be able to put up or shut up because clearly you're only able to actually just put up without shutting up. You don't actually realize that this stuff is hurting your brand. And as much as you want to talk about how stunning and brave it is to see two black men kiss on screen or bang for that matter, at the end of the day, the mass majority has spoken and this is the worst doctor who not by a small margin but by a massive margin we're talking over two million viewers lost from the last season and that season was considered a failure compared to others so let's get into this article guys from that park place but of course i mean look at this thing Look at this thing. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. I mean, just look at this fucking creature. Like, what is this? Like, how are you trying to? I don't even know, man. Doctor Who showrunner Russell T. Davies, the gayest showrunner ever, by the way, uh, admits that the ratings for the latest Doctor Who season are not good and even hinted that the entire show might be scrapped following the already greenlit second season. As reported by Doctor Who TV, Davies spoke with Radio Times about the show's disastrous ratings. The first episode, Church on Ruby Road, which debuted on Christmas, had overnight viewership of 4.73 million and garnered 7.49 million after a week. The episode had the second worst debut for any doctor and were the worst of any Christmas special. It did not get any better from there. Space Babies, which aired in the middle of May, had an overnight viewership of 2.6 million viewers in the United Kingdom. After a week, it only reached 4. 4.01 million. The worst performing episode in overnight viewership so far was the third episode, Boom, which had overnight viewership of just 2.04 million and only hit 3.58 million after a week. Guys, time out, man. These numbers, these numbers are so abysmal. When are we going to talk business? I mean, it has to get to a point where you have to sit down and honestly admit to yourselves that your activism is not working as much as you want to pretend like it is, as much as you want to go on interviews and talk about how stunning and brave it is to be gay and LGBTQ and all this stuff, as much as you want to do that so bad, you can't stop ignoring the majority for a long period of time. If you do, you might as well just pack up your bags, make your woke ass TV show and then pack up your bags because nothing, no profit, nothing is going to come from this. Now, if you're being subsidized from another avenue, then that's something different, right? If you want to start going down the rabbit hole of ESG funding, if you want to start going down the rabbit hole of different companies that are trying to interject uh, in this entire process, then we can do that. But if you are trying to convince other people that this show is going to live or die by its performance, then I can't see it doing anything else other than just flat out falling, fl uh, falling flat on its face, uh, completely dead. I just don't see it. Though, uh, however, the worst performing episode after a week is Dot in Bubble. The episode had overnight viewership of 2.12 million, but after a week, it only hit 3.38 million. On top of the show doing abysmally in the United Kingdom, it is not even charted on the Nielsen charts in a single week in the United States. The show airs on Disney Plus in North America. Davies reacted to this terrible viewership, telling Radio Times, I'm very proud of it. Oh, my God. Here we go. You know, they might not be the ratings we'd love. We always want higher, but they are building over the 28-day period. Episode 1, Space Babies, is already up to 5.6 million and counting, so it is getting there. Bro, getting there? Getting there? Now we're just happy with getting there? 
that <laughs> is that is that what you're trying to convince me now? You're talking about a TV show that used to pull in 10 to 15 million views on its debut episode, and now you're happy with one of the first debut episodes struggling to get to 5.6 million views. Now, now that's the level of success you want to bring yourself up to. That this is incredible to me. Uh, he then touted how the show was allegedly reaching younger audiences with his blatant woke propaganda. I was brought back into uh, to bring in a youthful audience that's been massively successful. Where? Where? Where has it been massively successful? Why are you thinking that the youth is even into this stuff? I mean, this is this has next level grooming to to a whole. I I can't even comprehend the mindset that it takes to think that this creature right here on the screen is what is going to bring in youthful audiences, or the fact that you race swap the doctor is going to bring in youthful audiences. I just don't get it. Uh, Davies explained that the audience no one ever gets are the under 30s. They just don't watch television anymore. But those figures are astronomic for Doctor Who. It's their top program in that bracket. Novelist and YouTuber John De La Rose explains that this is the coping lie. Notice, uh, now notice he doesn't give figures for this because he's lying. People are not watching this. Does not matter what age demographic you are. He added again, astronomic. He doesn't even mention it. But if you only got 5.6 million over a month and you're getting your lowest ratings ever, maybe your percentages of the lowest ratings are astronomical. Maybe you're getting a higher percentage than normal, but the actual numbers are very, very low. Not many people are watching, period. So this is complete cope. Finally, Davies reveals that the show might not move forward after its second season, saying that the future of the show is still up in the air. These comments from Davies come in the wake of both Shudi Gatwa, who plays the Doctor, and Millie Gibson, who plays his companion Ruby Sunday, hinting that they would be done with the show after the first two seasons. Gatwa told Rolling Stone UK in July 2023 that he would be returning to the stage after Doctor Who Theater kept me warm and held me all night, even if I was broke. But I'm planning on getting back to it next year after I finish season two of Doctor Who. So again, this entire thing seems like one massive planned ordeal to provide everybody with the wokest doctor we have ever seen by far in the hopes to try to garner some sort of ESG, uh, I don't know, uh, acceptance, some sort of ESG prominence. I really don't know. But at the end of the day, they have sacrificed Doctor Who and everything Doctor Who stood for in order to provide this particular season. It looks like, as expected, and I knew this kind of going into it, it looks like that Russell T. Davies, just like everybody else in the Hollywood and the BBC and the like and all that, they all never want to admit when they are wrong. They will never want to admit when they have failed. They like to fail upward. If they are doing bad, they're going to fake it till they make it. And if they can't make it, they're just going to fake it because that's just how it goes. They don't want to admit they're wrong about this. They don't want to admit that Shudi Gatwa is a terrible fucking doctor that nobody likes whatsoever. Nobody's watching this TV show. And the fact that you're trying to tout 5.6 million views after a month as some sort of a win is absolutely insane to me it is the wildest thing that i have ever heard coming from a showrunner who is running a show that used to get 10 to 15 million views on one particular episode we are not even close to the numbers you used to pull it is not funny i mean you're not even putting you're not even pulling uh jody whitaker numbers you're not even close to her numbers and her numbers were the worst this tv show is dead man doctor who is going the way of the dodo bird and i think that even if they get rid of uh shooty got what as the doctor which i mean they're going to it's only a matter of time but even if they get rid of him at the end of the day the damage is done the brand is 100 damage and whether or not it succeeds afterwards i guess it just it depends on the kind of doctor they bring time is gonna tell so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out